How's it going guys? Frank here with another DIY episode. In today's episode we are going to be working on that car, on that Mercedes. It has been having some problems with the control arms so we will go ahead and diagnose and change them. So stay tuned. So this car has been making some uh, clanking noises on the front wheels. I will try to drive it a little bit here to make sure that you hear them. Another one. So I believe that this noise is caused by the lower control arms. Another one. Yeah, I believe that you heard that. Basically, I believe that you heard the sound, the clunking noises that the car is making. Generally, on this Mercedes, is cause, is, it is caused by the lower control arms. So, uh, this is a 2005 Mercedes C230. So, I believe this will be applied to a variety of models like the E Class models, the C Class models. But specifically, we are going to work on this C230. 230 so in order to do that we have to take off the wheel and we have here our jack and our jack stands we have our tools and also we have the parts that are, we are going to replace so I bought them and at gold Asian at Nell Spritz so I will leave down the part numbers uh, to make sure that you can buy it when you need it so let's go ahead and take out the wheels check the car as you can see guys the wheel is off so basically the arms that we are going to change is this one and this the lower one right here and you can right away see it i believe you can see it that the bushings are worn so yeah that's why we have to change them the first thing that we have to do is to take out the cover so in order to do that you can see right there you have to take those eight millimeters bolts out as you can see we got our jack stands right there to provide us extra security so what we have to do now the easiest one to take out is the, the this one on the back because as you can see you just have to take it off from here and disassemble this bolt then we will go ahead to the second one that one right there that is more complicated because to take this out as you can see right there to take it out we have to take out our shock assembly so let's first start with that one so in order to take out this this bolt i've just sprayed a little bit of uh, lubricant to loosen the bolts and you will need a 20 inch millimeter socket to take it out so our goal right here is to loosen the bolt as you can see this one now is loosened so we will go ahead and do the same here on the other side the process is basically the same and the wrench sizes is exactly the same we are, going to do. we are going to take out the this bolt right here all the way out then i will disassemble the strut mount only on the bottom here and this side right here so for this one i will only loosen it up to be able to pull up a bit the old structure without taking out the the um, without taking out the brake calipers in order to take out the strut we will use this 19 millimeter socket we will just put it right there 
as you can see and with this extension bar i will loosen it up so yeah guys i believe you can see right there i have just took out the bolt from right here from the strut from the both sides those are the bolts that i took took off and as you can see now i will go ahead and take out that bolt right there and the bolt of this control arm to be able to raise down so but the first thing that i will go ahead and do is to unbolt uh, this one from this control arm right there to take out to take out this bolt right here as you can see you need a special tool you will have to use your uh, 21 millimeter uh, wrench or socket uh, a wrench then you will have to put this hex tool in the middle and loosen up this bolt as you can see right now i've just took off uh, the lower control arms as you can see right there is missing only to take out uh, this bolt for the other one as you can see i was able to took off the bolt but we have some problem here the bolt is loosened and we have to lower the sway bar and i don't have this socket right here so we will have to go to the store and try to find it so yeah guys as you can see i took out the sway bar pushing and i was able to take out the bolt from that side out and as you can see the arm now is done and i also took off the tie rod as, as you can see right here we have the tie rod out so now as i told you later i took off the bolts from the shock and now i'm able to move it a bit and i will be able to take out this arm right here and I'll unbolt the other one so yeah as you can see the upper control arm is out i was able to uh, to push it uh, to push the whole assembly out and insert my wrench there with a 21 millimeter to loosen up the bolt and take out the other one as you can see we have the both control arms out and as you can see we didn't have too much job of taking out the brake caliper if you find another videos on youtube they say to you that you have to take out the, the brake calipers and disassemble the wall structure but i can tell you by the way i didn't uh, i didn't need to do that it is very very easy to do that without taking out the brake caliper and messing up with the abs cables and other stuff you don't need to touch anything right here so now let's go ahead and pick up the new ones to do a little bit of comparison to show you guys how those guys were very worn so yeah we have here the old parts and the new parts so this is the um, the lower control arm as you can see right here the bushings and the bushing was very cracked so it has a little bit of play on it on the both sides and also you can see that this uh, link right here has a lot of play but the new one is firm we have a good new this is the upper control arm this is the new one and this right here is the old one as you can see it has a lot of cracks right there also here and you can see it has a lot of play right here too so now let's go ahead and put those new bad boys so yeah that's it guys i have torqued down the old bolts this bolt right here the bolt from the link the bolts from the from the control arms the bolts from the ba the sway bar uh, the bolt from the tie rod the both bolts of the um, control arms and also the bolt right here on the strut so 
everything is pretty much done yeah as you can see on the driver's side it's all done you can see right there that we have the tire back and what's left to do is to do the same process on the passenger side and we will be good to go and test the car yeah guys as you can see we did the same on the drive passenger side everything is good now it's time to put on the tire and take it for a ride to see if everything is working as it should but first we have to put the shield down there so yeah now we were testing the car and everything looks good no more clanking noises and yeah indeed the problem was related to the lower control arms since since we changed them the problem is gone so yeah that's it folks i hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any car question please do not hesitate and uh, reach me at social media at and at my email i will leave i will leave down the the email and the instagram account and please do not forget to subscribe leave your comments so that's it guys see you next time peace